Welcome to Tulir. Today we will talk about word processing, which is there in Unit Three of Class Ten Information Technology. Today I will show you all the features in the word processing, which was mentioned in your book, practically instead of going through the slides. Let's start with that. Okay, now we will see the first section in your book. Uh, that is page layout, modifying the page layout. So it is always necessary to modify the layout of the page whenever you are creating any kind of document in the word processor. Without formatting any document, it always looks ugly. It's better if you do a formatting so that it looks neat and readable for the users. So for this, we can open. I have already opened up the word document. Here you click on the page layout. So under this page layout, click on this paragraph group. Under this paragraph group, click on this icon and click on the tabs. Now the default tab stop position is set to 0.5. That is 0.5. I'm showing you to you in the ruler. This is 0.5 and this is 1 and 2, 3, four five this is just the ruler to show where the positions are so if you want to type something with left alignment that is the alignment is shown here with the left alignment i'm setting the first tab stop position to one so this tab dialog box to set your tab stop position that is when you have a tab key in your keyboard right so when you press the tab it will move to certain amount of spaces it, right that we are specifying it under this tab position so first tab position i'm stopping it at the point one with alignment left i'm setting it up here next to the two with the alignment of center next to the three with the alignment of right every time after you are selecting that you have to click on the set button to set to that particular position. Next, I'm setting it to four, and then I'm setting it as the decimal point. I'm setting it up to set. Next to the five, with the bar, bar is nothing but a, a, a kind of a bar which will get created. So I'm clicking on okay here. Look, all the positions are already created. The tab stop positions are created, which we can clearly see it in the ruler see this l shows that it is left aligned and this t the inverted t shows it is the center aligned and this ulta l shows it is in the right aligned and again it's the decimal and here the bar position now i'm pressing just my tab key in my keyboard sorry tab from my keyboard look the automatically it go it went to the position one and i'm typing something here it is left aligned now and i'm pressing the tab position again tab key again now it went on to the position two with the center alignment now i'm pressing again tab and it went on to the third position with right align And again, tab and any numerical value with a decimal point. This is just an example. This is always useful when you are creating a document with all these kind of information. Look, once I click on the, I am keep pressing the tab position where it moves on. It moves on to the bar position and then it went on there and again it came back here. So that is, this is how you can use this tab section in the page layout okay okay next we will talk about the header and footer section in any document okay for this open the document click on insert under insert you have so many groups in the groups header and footer click on the header once you click on header you will have so many different options available here and select any one of the options which you want and here you can type anything the purpose of header and footer is 
whatever you are giving in header and footer that thing will be repeated in the entire documents for example you are having five pages in all the pages the header which you are included the text will be repeating i will show you how to do that okay say i already uh, inserted the header here and i selected one type i'm going to type it here as something i'm typing it here and here also i'm typing something okay i just typed all these things just i'll show you all these text will be displayed in all the pages just moving on to the next page look i am the second page the header had has been repeated and i move on to the third page and even the third page the header got repeated so that is the purpose of header so whatever you are giving it in the header that will be repeated in all the pages that will be displayed in the all the pages and if you want to insert page number that also we can do it in the header just go to this page number option here click on this and whether you want it in the top bottom page or wherever you want you can include the page number here say i am giving the page number here and i want to format this i can click on the format page number i want to uh, run the number format to be 1 2 3 that is fine or a b c that is also fine whatever the format you want to do you can select it here and start with one and i am giving it here now i'm choosing the header now you can see the page number is displayed here as two in the second page so in the same way if you want to insert any logo or something in the header which you want to be repeated in the entire page that is also possible just open the header go to insert click on picture i have so many pictures here i have selected this and this is in the here and i'm closing the other now you can see this logo displaying in all the pages right okay fine now in the same way we can also include footer by clicking on insert click on footer in the same way we have so many options here again i'm selecting something in the footer so whatever you have done using the header that that is also available in the footer that is the uh, i mean you can include a picture clip art whatever you want you can do it and you can go directly to the header from here also by clicking on this so all these things can be repeated here right so now we can see uh, the next section that is the styles styles is uh, is a group of section that is available under the home tab so this i'm just typing something here I'm just randomly typing something to just show you the functionality of each option so i'll type something if you want the page to display in whatever the style just click on the style and throughout the entire document you can select everything and then you can change the different styles under the styles group in the home tab okay and you have so many set of styles here by clicking on change style and that styles set you have it here okay. so many styles you have it here which you can do it whatever the whatever you, the style you want you can follow it from here and okay. this is all about the styles header and footer we completed it now i want to show you about templates so we'll talk about templates now what do you mean by a template so you all know that template is nothing but a 
predefined uh, something which is predefined a document or something which is predefined which we can use it for our purpose and here in word we can create our own template as well as we can go ahead and use the same template that is available within this built-in uh, Microsoft Windows. I'll show you now how to do that. Now we will see how to create a new template. So before we enter into that, I just wanted to tell you what a template means. Template, you all know that it is nothing but a predefined kind of a document which we can use it for our own purpose. That we say it as a template, right? I'm clicking on new. And then we have uh, so many options here in that you have installed templates where the system itself is having so many in predefined installed um, templates available here. So I can click on any one of this to make use of it. It has so many resume, uh, letter format, fax format, all these things which you have it here. And if I want uh, for that, you can select any one of these any one of that and then click on create and then if you click on create you have that doc, uh, template got open up which you can use it for your own purpose and you can also create your own template by clicking on new and then click on my templates and click on template uh, create a select a blank document click on a template and click on okay you will have a page open up now you set up your own uh, format here i'm just typing up something to show you how to do that and then the thing is when you want to create a template after typing it you'll be saving it right for that when you give save as you have to select the option word template right so here I'm giving saving it with the name sample. Save. Right. Again, if you go here and click on new and then click on my templates, which you'll be having the template which you have created. The sample which we just now we created, we can click on to that to make use of that particular template for your future use. And after after the template has been used you can save it as a document by as a normal saving document as dot doc N name of the document dot doc that is how you normally save any word document okay okay now we will see the next topic that is page and section breaks what is that first let me explain that then we'll go and see it practically page and section breaks are nothing but where in the document where exactly we need some breaks sometimes we'll be keep on typing a document and feel and we feel like the content after that those texts should start from the next page in that case we need to keep on press enter 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 so that the text goes to the next page to avoid these problems we have these options page and section breaks we will see now how it works now i have a document opened up in my machine i'm going to the option page layout here we have the option break. There are basically two types of breaks, page breaks and then section breaks. Now, watch my cursor. Here I have my cursor. The text after the cursor, I want those texts to appear in the next page, not in the same page. In that case, I go ahead, click on page break. Now all the content, after the cursor now started appearing in the next page. Now I'm giving control Z to get it back again to show you the next option. Now I want the column breaks. This indicates the column, if at all, if the content in the page is having a column break and the text, the cursor where you have pressed, for example, I'll show you with the example here. 
see this particular page is having a column break already okay now you want to start the content after the cursor in the next column in that case now keep the cursor there now you click on column now look at this now the content after the cursor is starting from the next column that is the purpose of the column break okay now text wrapping text wrapping is nothing but so i'll just show you the difference i'm keeping the cursor here and clicking on the text wrapping it means that after the cursor the all the text are aligned in a wrapped manner okay just it aligned itself in a continuous format in a right format again i will show from here i'm clicking on text the text gets wrapped after the place where i have placed the cursor from the place where i have placed the cursor right now we'll go ahead and see the section breaks okay now i just give control is it and make bring the document to the normal and now i'll explain you the section break okay now i want the text after my cursor to appear as a separate section say for example from the uh, text new architecture it should start as a new section for this i again i have different types of section breaks next page continuous even page and odd page now i am keeping the cursor here i am giving the section section break as next page now the section started from the next page okay now i want a continuous continuous in the same page i want the content but in a different section for example i'm keeping the cur cursor here but after the cursor whatever the content is there i want that to appear as a next section so i'm clicking on continuous look it has become as a next section with a bulleted point right and i have one more this even page and odd page or something like whatever the section uh, breaks you are giving that should be applied only for the even pages and only for the odd pages that is the meaning for this that depends upon the page number which you can give it in your header or footer that you know how to give the page numbers in the header or footer which i have already explained and the main advantage of having the section break is in the same page when you give the section if you have given the section break in the same page itself you can have two types of formatting say for example after this cursor i'm giving a section break as a continuous so now now after that cursor whatever appears it is a next section right so now i am giving a column break here as a two so whatever the content that appears after the cursor which i have given that is appearing in a column format right so in the same page we have a continuous text format as well as a column break format that is the main advantage of having the section breaks for example for more clearly i will show it here now i have my section break here i apply the section sorry section break here as continuous i have given it here and then i am giving a column break as 3 here now look at this in the same page up to this it has a continuous text format but after this we have it as a column break that is the main advantage of having it here the section breaks right okay thank you for watching tulir please watch on for the part 2 of unit 3 for the continuation of this chapter thank you have a great day bye bye